Your child's eyes are made up of many parts, all of which work together to help them see. One important part is the lens, a clear layer on the inside of the eye that focuses light. Normally, the lens is crystal clear. If the lens is cloudy instead, this is called a cataract. Cataracts affect vision by blocking or scattering the light that enters the eye, making what you see blurry, dark, or not show up at all. You may think about cataracts as something that happens later in life, but infants and children can develop pediatric cataracts, a rare condition that affects about three in 10,000 children. Unlike cataracts in adults, pediatric cataracts affect the eye while vision is still developing, so immediate treatment is often needed to prevent permanent vision loss. Pediatric cataracts have a variety of causes, which include family genetics, syndromes such as Down syndrome, eye trauma, medication use, infections, or they can occur spontaneously. Babies can be born with cataracts, or they can develop later. Normally, light enters your child's eye and passes through the lens, which focuses an image onto the back of the eye, or retina. Pediatric cataracts cloud the lens, scattering or blocking light entering the eye. This means that the image cast onto the retina is not focused, so the image your child sees appears blurry or not at all. Pediatric cataracts can look different depending on the cause of the cataract and where the cloudiness is located inside the lens. You may notice your child's eyes appear a different color in photos, or you may suspect cataracts if your child has a family history of pediatric cataracts. Your pediatrician may be able to see the cataract during a well child visit and can refer your child to a pediatric ophthalmologist. Surgery to remove the cataract is needed when it affects your child's vision. If left untreated, pediatric cataracts can result in permanent vision loss, so quick treatment is critical to your child's visual development. Pediatric eye diseases require the kind of specialized care our team can provide at Children's Hospital Colorado. Before the surgery, your child will be put to sleep with general anesthesia so they will not feel any pain during the procedure. First, your child's surgeon will make a tiny incision into the eye and make a hole in the lens capsule, the outer covering surrounding the lens. Next, the cloudiness inside is carefully removed little by little. In some cases, the back of the lens is removed as well along with some of the vitreous, a jelly-like substance that sits behind the lens and fills the back of the eye. For children over six months old, an artificial lens, also called an intraocular lens, or IOL, may be placed inside the eye to restore clear vision, either in the same procedure or as a follow-up. Cataract surgery is a slow and careful process so your child's procedure may take several hours. Patients are usually able to go home the day of surgery, but will need to return to the clinic the next day for an eye exam with your surgeon. For children with cataracts in both eyes, the procedure is usually done in two separate surgeries. After surgery, a patch will be placed over your child's eye, which is typically worn for about one week. Some children may also need to wear a patch over the stronger eye to help strengthen their vision. Once home, you will need to apply eye drops to your child's post-operative eye four to six times per day for at least the first week. After the first week, eye drops will become less frequent, but you should expect your child to need daily eye drops for at least the first month following surgery. Depending on your child's age, they may also require contacts. Children should also avoid swimming or contact sports for at least the first two weeks following surgery. Pediatric cataract removal is a lifelong journey, including frequent follow-up visits with your pediatric ophthalmologist to track your child's recovery and progress. For more information or to schedule an appointment, 
visit the Pediatric Ophthalmology page on the Children's Hospital Colorado website.